about 20 minutes, we'll go up to the end of the line where you'll be able to get out the photographs and talk to our friendly engine driver. You'll also find information about the sawmilling days. We'll return down the line to the sawmill and the gold claim area. You'll be bound to find your fortune there. Gold panning sessions are held after each train journey. Steam drove all of our locomotives, timber mills and industrial sites during the 19th and early 20th centuries. It was a time when the boilers had to be continually stoked with wood or coal to get steam up to keep the engines chugging. So with a few more shovelfuls of coal, we'll be away. Today we're heating up about 2,000 litres of water to get the steam up to take you along an original bush tram line that used a steam locomotive to transport the logs out of the native forest we've been moving through down to Ogilvy's sawmill. This was located near the entrance to Shantytown in the 1930s. We'll pass historic clues of the 1860s gold rush era, such as tailings, water races and old machinery, many of it is covered by regenerating native bush, as this area was gold mined then all the big timber was taken out to build many of New Zealand's wooden villas.
You'll see the gold plane area on your right as we pass by. Like the line of the hole, you might strike a bridge. Now, by a top you pan for your own gold. On your left, we're also coming up to an example of a 1920 sawmill. Our fully interpreted attraction will give you an idea of the very hard life that sawmillers lived in the early days. The train will drop you at the sawmill on the return journey. Well, cannons, um, they use it still goes, but um, they're just staying in the lake of water. Um, but it's drizzling now, it's quite funny. It's a bit of a shame, I like watching that when they go cannon gun. Let me look in there. Never mind, yeah. It's blocked off, I ain't got it to there. Nelson. Oh, oh nice. Right. He used to be a local, but yeah, yeah. Nelson. Thank 